who really cares, who is willing to try to save a world that is destined to die. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the mental house with me, your host, Khadija. You know, um, these are one some of the stories that are kind of hard for me. And I want it to be hard for you. Because when you start inter interfering with the lives and the progress of our babies. And to me, you the scum of the earth. I don't care what nobody say. I don't have any, I ain't got no, nothing for you. Nothing. And when you that reckless that you shoot into homes and shoot all around. See, this is stuff I want to talk about that we ain't trying to talk about. So, Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to you. If I haven't said it, let me welcome y'all to the mental house and then get myself together with me, your host, your minister of soul, Khadija. Zaire Nevels was just days away from turning two when she was shot and killed during an argument between adults on June 3rd on Milwaukee's north side. Milwaukee police confirmed that she was the 10th child homicide victim this year. Okay, I want y'all to hear me good because see y'all y'all killing the babies. Y'all see y'all y'all so out of control. Y'all so out of control. And then you want to get mad when You want to make a big stink when other people kill us. But we kill kids. You Negroes kill kids. Y'all kill kids. And then you got the nerve to get mad at the white man? Talking about he shot, the police shot you. Oh, man. Down is up and up is down. Because, see, you're interfering with the development of our babies, our grandbabies. And then you don't give a damn because that nigga made you mad. Or you had to get that nigga. Or that nigga owed me. The bullet that y'all put in these children should have went into y'all. I've been consistently talking about the need for people to be better with guns. To have better control on guns, to put the guns down. So this is happening all over the United States. We ain't no different. Because nothing ever good happens when you pull the trigger. That's from the damn mayor. The first black mayor we got named Cavalier. From 2016 to 2019, 10 or fewer children were killed in Milwaukee. Between all those years, according to the city's Homicide Commission, Review Commission. In each of the three years since 20 or more, the city's homicide have been children. A disturbing trend that 2023 seems to likely to continue. A baby granddaughter whose expressive face seemed to hold a glimpse of 
a strong person sheet something they become a beloved student a, and student council leader a boy who loved recording music cherished sons and children they all leave behind loved ones inside jokes and dreams that will never be realized <sighs> Let me get through this here. Below is what we know about their lives. These are babies. Zaire Nevels was one. She had not had a chance to live. Her life was just beginning. May you rest in peace, little angel. Her mother said she was going to be my next Einstein. That smile and that eyebrow, that look. Another photo circulating online captured a moment in Neville's short little life. Looking up at the camera, one eyebrow slightly raised, her curly hair pulled back. She wore a pink top matching floral pants and fluffy pink slippers. A 27-year-old man has been charged with first-degree reckless homicide and possession of a firearm by a felon. I'm sick of y'all. I'm so sick of y'all. I'm sick of y'all. Y'all destroyers of the community. Y'all are horrible. And we got to have a drop squad. It's just that simple. We can't have people running around the community killing babies. And then think we're going to get some justice someplace else. Like this ain't important. Nobody want to come out and make a stand. And talk about the violence that's going on with us. We've lost our goddamn minds. Yeah, we know who the puppet master is. We see, we know what a hidden hand is. But we hide these kind of people in our communities. You know Ray Ray and them did that shit. You know it. But you got them hiding in the basement. And you go and get them some food and stuff and take it down there because you don't want the police to get a hold to them. But he didn't kill somebody's baby. And a testament of what a society is. Good or bad is how they treat their elderly and how they treat their babies. And because we've been bred to just pump them out. Y'all act like you don't give a damn about their lies. Prove me wrong if you don't like what I said. Most of you slaves running around here shooting these damn guns in your own neighborhood. Misfiring and hitting your wrong target. Y'all need to face it. Y'all y'all need to face whatever execution they got for you. I just don't give a damn. Tyler Brooks was 15. He was found fatally shot. In the 5500 block of 92nd Street. Uh, I don't know about Ty. I don't know. All I know. Is a 17 year old boy. Is charged with first degree homicide. Okay. Jeremiah Hudson, 16, he was fatally shot. See, these young people into the, I'm, some of these some of these young people are into stuff, but some of them are innocent bystanders. Some of them are in the wrong place at the wrong time. Some of them are catching strays because bullets are flying through their neighborhoods. 
like raindrops. Jeremiah Hudson was fatally shot on West Villa. They had a tribute, a twenty-minute tribute online to video where it shows him throughout his life as a toddler in a Sesame Street shirt and a cuddling a puppy to a teenager with a wide-eyed grin, surrounded by his family and friends. Um, his teacher called him studious and a natural leader. Okay. Damian Patterson was killed in a mass shooting that injured five others on March 20th. The shooting occurred, he was 15, on 14th in Concordia. His mother, Tierra Carter, described Patterson as a good kid with a heart of gold. Of course, it goes on and on. She lost her son. I will never see him graduate high school. I don't know what some of these kids were involved in. Darion Duke died from a stabbing. 16. Known as Little D. A lot of these kids are involved in stuff and a lot of them aren't. Jamari Page was 13. He was fatally shot February 19th. Xavier Winston. He was shot and killed. He's 15 on 9th Street. Oh, my God. Sebastian Florentino. Stephen L. Perkins. Uh, Florentino was 14. Stephen Perkins was 17. Listen, I'm going to give y'all some national hotline numbers because we have trauma in our community and nothing good can come from a whole group of people who are traumatized. Not only traumatized from the white man and all the trauma that he's inflicted upon us, We've learned well from the slave master. And now we do a better bidding of killing ourselves than he ever did. You had a mental health crisis line in Milwaukee. The number is 414-257-7222. You got it. It's 24-7. It's Four one four two five seven seven two two two. Then you got four one four life is outreach and a conflict mediation support group. Their number is four one four four three nine five three nine eight. Milwaukee Child Mobile Crisis Team and Trauma Response. 414-257-7621. I used to work religiously and diligently with the mobile crisis team of Milwaukee. And I want to give them a shout out. And then I want to, the national numbers I got y'all is a um, text hope line to 741741. And that's the text with a trained crisis counselor. Just text HOPE LINE, H-O-P-E-L-I-N-E, -E, to 741-741. And you'll be linked with a trained crisis counselor. 
And I want y'all to take advantage of these numbers because they're so important to put you on a road to recovery. The National Suicide Prevention Hotline is 1-800-273-8255. That's the National Suicide Prevention 1-800-273-8255. And then the National Domestic Violence Hotline. Because that one is very important. You got people living in the same house with each other, want to kill each other. And they done took so much abuse from one another, they think it's normal. They don't know how to go, they don't know how to stay. They addicted to pain, they addicted to trauma. And they keep reinfecting themselves over and over and over again. The National Domestic Violence Hotline is 1-800-799-7233. Again, that number is 1-800-799-7233. Thank y'all for helping me remember those two 10 children. Who have just been killed in the last six months. The last. Six months. Suffer so not little children and come unto me. I believe I heard that word. Hug your babies. Get help. Get help. And if you know anybody in the family that's operating below the grid, we we'll to hold you accountable. Because we can't afford to lose our babies. Not to this. Not to this. We fighting too many enemies. And with that being said, I want to know how y'all feel about it. Because I get emotional about it. I know. As a parent, as a grandparent, this is hard to watch all these babies dead. And y'all niggas running around here. You Negroes. Shoot. Shoot at one-year-olds. Five-year-olds is too much. So I want to know what y'all feel about it. I want to hear your comments below. I want to hear some emotional. I want to hear some feedback from people who I know is living in trauma-based communities. Don't act like you don't. Don't act like you ain't with it. What can we do, y'all, to solve some of this? Because it's the same stuff here as it is for Chicago which is right down the road everywhere South Carolina North Carolina Memphis Tennessee Los Angeles Detroit Michigan all over The ghettos is the same all over. They all stink. And what we going to do about it? Because now we killing babies. We killing the babies. I don't want to hear no more about babies being fed to alligators. I don't want to hear no more of that shit. I don't. Leave your comments below. I'll see you in the next video.